All right. Hi. It's the Cares None Be Dope Podcast. Wait, wait, before, wait, before I even finish this, before I even finish this, I took an edible. Oh, fun. About 25 minutes ago. Okay. So it should be kicking in right about now. How long does that last for? Actually, I didn't take a lot, so it probably went on. And to be honest, I think I should have took more, but I also don't want to be off. I didn't want to be too fucked up. Oh. I would say, like, edible sticky lads, I don't know, a couple hours. Nice. I'll catch but up. I feel like this ain't strong enough, so. I'll catch up. Uh, <laughs> uh, I am your host, Chris Cares None. I told this motherfucker that I stopped drinking last time we did an Ebony and Ivory, and he's bought me a beer, so now I have to drink it because it's. Oh, you legitimately stopped drinking? No. The- Oh, okay. Well, then, no, fuck you. Don't put it on. I, I totally forgot that. I actually, I actually bought that. Specific- At the time, I did. I specifically bought that because, you know, I don't drink. I, I'm still not drinking. Yeah, from, like, the end of March to the beginning of June, I didn't touch fucking anything. What made you go back? Life. Explain. In, was- not, not in detail, but, like. It wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't, like, to the point where I, uh. Got absolutely obliterated. It was just like, you know, you're barbecuing, you're out there, you have a cigar, you're just like, okay, I have a couple, whatever. So I had, <laughs> so I had like 12 <laughs> Bud Lights. But I, uh, yeah, it just, I mean, it all came back to me. Yeah, it's like I never left. Here's the thing about booze. And, you know, I'm going through my journey right now. And it's about to be a year in like a couple months, right? Yeah, a year. Me, remember? My, remember our first couple episodes? Oh, it's a mess. <laughs> Wreck. <laughs> we drink like a bottle of vodka. Oh my god. Oh I, man. I, I slept on the couch a couple times. Um. So here's where help me understand what you mean because I've heard other people say this that like when life happens that makes you drink or it makes you want to say fuck I'm give you a drink because personally w- when life happens. It doesn't make me, like, and I, I know what you mean by life, like, like fuck, you know, it's something, you know, mm-hmm. but that doesn't make me go back to that because I know how I feel when I drink, especially like if I over drink or the next day, I always feel like shit. Yeah. Some people like the punishment though. They feel like I deserve this punishment for how much I drank last night or whatever, but people drink because they don't want to remember, especially when it comes to like Memorial day and vets and stuff like that. A lot of people drink that day. Uh, but a lot of people drink every day. A lot, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I, I, mean, I was one of them. I just turned, I just turned 40. So based on uh, the criteria for be, being 40 for this decade, you have to drink every day until you're 50. And then you get a health evaluation. They tell you you're fucked up and you got to, you know, bring it back. This is the party decade. 40 is the party decade. 30s getting your life together. 20, you're young and stupid. You're living with your parents, you know. 20 to 30, and then 30 to 40, you got to figure out your shit, what you got to do with the rest of your life. And then 40, you're like, just fucking, you know, slide. You know, just go. Do you remember thinking when we were young, like, let's just say 20, and thinking like a 35-year-old's old as fuck? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, no, you're still a kid. Um, I still felt like a kid in my 30s. Yeah. I To be honest, I'm just now scratching the surface of what I believe it means to be an actual masculine man. Adulthood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thirty mm. some thirty plus thirty plus years. Yeah. Um, so that's that's really weird that as as a young person you think. But is that a testament to how fast it goes? I mean, yes, but think about it this way. Would you want to date a girl that's between the ages of eighteen and twenty five? No. Why? Because I'm I have nothing nothing like I can't talk just, to them. They're not I'd have sex with them. Oh, yeah, oh, sure. You know, I, I'd, I'd be giving yeah, them some care. back shots. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I might even be cool. But honestly, and I realized that, like, so, like, one of those 80-year-olds, you know, or the ballers with, like, a 20, I, I don't know. I don't see it. Oh, the sugar daddies. Yeah. And, and maybe, don't get me wrong. You have never had it, though. Well, a 22-year-old body, a female body. Yeah. I, I get that part. But... Where I'm maybe just because because I'm sex isn't an issue for me. It really is more than just fucking for me overall. You know what I'm saying? It really is. Mm-hmm. Like, and don't get me wrong. If I was at a bar or something, and then some 22 year old, I'm like, all right, we're walking out. Yes, I'd fuck her. But I'm saying, like, if I'm talking to some girl, like, it's really hard to talk to a 20 year old girl. 
or shit, even 25 for that matter. I, I, I've dealt with some 27, 28 year olds that were straight. Yeah. But they're just, they're, they're in the whole, the whole fucking party phase. But when you talk about the body though, there's some 40 year olds up to 50 year old mm-hmm. girls that are just, they know. Yeah. But they put the work in though. The wor- hard. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, they put the work in, but in, and normally you can be 23 and not do shit and still have a great body. Right. That's gonna go away though. How many? How many girls like? Yeah, for sure. How many girls like in in junior high or high, no, a little older, high school, maybe even college? Like, damn, she's thick. But if she don't, if she don't get it intact, gone, <laughs> fucking gone. Like you're young, yeah. you got the tight skin, and then you keep doing the exact same shit you're doing. By the time you hit fucking twenty eight, it's like, <laughs> like so you're a, you're an avid TikToker. Some of these forty year olds that are thick, like they're yeah. crazy. <laughs> like, they're so crazy. There's some hot, there's some hot moms out there. Yeah, ridiculous. Man. Yeah, you, I just hit my one. I'm I'm over a thousand followers now. Like I saw that man. Yeah, yeah good I, shit. I can do live TikTok lives now. That's cool. Follow me on TikTok, everybody. The great. Wait, area. are you had to get to a thousand to get lives? In order to do lives, you got to do one k. Yeah, you, you, you got one k followers. I didn't know that, dude. I don't, I don't know what it is about TikTok with me, because that's clearly the one to be on. Right now, because, yeah, because they're it's giving out changing. It changes all the time. Yeah, and it's, it's like Snapchat, but you Instagram, really got to post. TikTok. You got to post. Then you got to be on the trends. Then, then you got, and it's just so much. And I feel like life is a big part of it now. Like it the, is. And I, I never, I very rarely ever go live with anything. If you have people like donate, you, you, you. Last podcast you did with the Eric, yeah, it, it stopped. You, it, you were on Instagram. Yeah, I did it live. How long did it go? It was on there for like 40 minutes. Okay, yeah. It, it, it said that it stopped for 40 something minutes. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, hello? You didn't, never looked at that motherfucker, though. That one time. You did well, not. Well, that wasn't the point. I know. That but it was like point. right here, dude. It was like right <laughs> here. Or like, just, just give it a fucking quick look. Just that, look I, over here. Th- that one time. <laughs> no. Here's how I know, because I looked over when it was over, and the yeah. shit, it, it was like uh, timed out, session timed out. And I'm like, oh, Did you see shit. the comments? Or when no, you timed out, it was gone. Wait, and then you can't go back. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I, I tried because that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna like peace dad or whatever. You had pe- like I was in there. Were they, were they going crazy? People were like, Hello, look over here, look over here. We we're all talking shit. Like he's not gonna look over here. Well, he's not gonna look over here. I and, and the, we were high too. Yeah, and you you were bringing up topics you know that made sense and shit. And people were like, Should we go live now? People were like jumping out. Yeah, fuck it. You know what? Hold on, hold on. TikTok. You, you, you talk to him while we should go. Uh, what's up, everybody? How you doing? <laughs> Welcome, cares none. none. Welcome to Ebby and Ivory episode seven. We are here at seven. We're on. I didn't even introduce you. We're on seven. They know who I am. They know who I am. They know. They know. They know who Sarge is. That's all good, man. Yeah, I didn't bring him any salsa today. I didn't have the ingredients I needed, but uh, I'm getting ready. It's gonna be. I want to talk to him about his uh, your. Your art show thing. The, oh, yeah. the turnout was good, I hope. You had the naked Jeff Goldblum behind you, which was yeah, yeah. Shit about pretty appealing. Yeah, it's funny, though. I mean, that's, I mean, that, that, would, that would bring me over there. I but, didn't even realize, like, that, that was an accident how that worked out. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to go live. All right, do it. I'm going to go live. Fuck it. And I'm not going to look at the camera. Gonna... Someone's going to be asking. They're going to be like, hey, man. I'm, I'm going to look. You'll remind me. So look. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now I wonder if if I go live on here, will there be a delay? Like if we looked on your phone, it's there's going always going to be a delay. Always going to be like a couple seconds. Like my Podbean, you know, it, the, I have like about a point, like one Wait, to two Podbean seconds. Has yeah, I'm on it all the time. Really? Yep. I Yippers. Did not, I did not know that. Yeah, people come on there. You know, the delinquent army talks, and you know, they have questions and. You know, we just shoot the shit. It's like a morning show whenever I can do it, but I don't have a fucking schedule. So. I don't know if you saw, I got that one video, bro. With the bike? The one Viker. That was, no, that, that, no, that was funny to me. I, I, I personally watched that myself. Like The watermelon. Times. That one was good, too. But, <laughs> <laughs> the, no, the one where the chick broke the TV. Oh, yes. Bro, that's had 397,000 views. Oh, yeah, and then you did it again. Then, and then you did the other one. Where, Isn't that crazy? That's insane. Yeah, it's, I mean, that is accurate. I mean, could you imagine? <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I wish somebody would. You're like, you gonna die today. Oh, I wish that is the would. end of your life. I'm like, is this bitch crazy? <laughs> let's see how we can do this shit. Oh yeah, let, let me know because I'm gonna. I could go on. Are you going, you're on TikTok, right? No, I'm about to do Insta. Oh, Insta. That's my little following, man. I guess you don't want to do want to do TikTok. 
we, if you do TikTok, I could join you on your TikTok as a guest, and it'll be like me versus you, and we could. Uh, Fuck we... It, let's do TikTok. <laughs> okay. All right. I've never gone live on TikTok before. Oh well. So this is the first. You should. Let's see if I can uh, find. Here's Tori. Torsha. Torsha. She, she's blowing up. She's over ten now. Ten thousand followers. Yep. Nice. On TikTok. Yeah, it must be nice to be pretty. See, here's the problem I had last time. The angle? To get us hogs, maybe go like this. There you go. Yeah, let's tripod it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Like that, right? Yeah, there you go. You, I don't have to. I could. Yeah, there you go. I'm right here. There you go. Perfect. Ta da. That good? That's it. That is it. They're going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, oh, Jesus Christ. Go live. So I could. Uh, Wait, what was that noise? That was that was my sh- that was my uh, stuff. on here on mine. No 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 no. I'm, oh, I'm not on you yet. I'm not on you yet. Yeah. Don't worry about this, people. We're trying to figure shit out. It's a technical. What the fuck is all this noise? What was is that? that a dog? It sounded like a dog. Is there a dog in here? You don't have a dog. I do. I do not have a dog that I know of. Okay. All right. Fuck it. We're, we're live on TikTok, everybody. Too bad we should go live on every goddamn thing. Can you go live on more things than one? Than one? I'm watching you now. Here we are. Hey. There it is. Okay, so I'll, I'll Is there a delay? Yeah, you just said we're live on TikTok, everybody. See, listen. Say something. Hey. Oh, okay. All right, I got you. All right, <laughs> All right now, now, you should be able to open up to invites. Like, if you were to click on me. Man, I ain't never done this shit before. Click on me. I see you. Hold on. Yeah. Now we on Instagram, man. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Fuck. All right. Here? Says manage? Yeah, I guess. Put me on there. What manage. Is, what's it say? It says block. I <laughs> know you fuck. Add moderator? Yeah, I moderator. That'll, that'll work. I can moderate your shit whenever you go live and make sure all the nasty motherfuckers are. So you in there? I am. Should be. Invite another host and go live together. Boom. All right, I gotta put you in there. Friends who go live will be shown here. Perfect. Are you live? I I no, I'm not, I'm watching yours. Oh, so if I'm, I gotta go live in order to be invited it to this. Said, Friends who go live will be shown here. All right, boom, I'm live. All right, let's see. Let's see. Go to the top, right? I don't know, maybe. Maybe I should have studied this before I did it. We should have. This is baptism by fire, homie. Yep. <laughs> okay. You know what? Here, let's do this. Instead of trying to do it here, Am I in there? I should be in there. Yeah, I'm not in there. No. I'm live now. All right, invite. Invite. Oh. Invite you. you. Boom. Just, you just me. There you go. Invite. And accept. You good? We're in there. You You'll see my face up there. There you go. All right. Oh, so you don't need to see you then? No. Oh, that's perfect. You, you, you look at my pretty. I don't want to see you anyway. <laughs> no, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Oh. Ta da. Fucking TikTok. Yeah, we, we got it. I'm the old mother. What, what's this TikTok all about? People listen to the audio like, what the fuck are they doing? On the yeah, welcome. Welcome to Baptism by right, Fire. Fuck so what are we talking about? Um, I have no idea. Oh, for those on TikTok, we, this is the Cares None Be Dope podcast. Also, I, wait, wait. Oh, I shit. am your host, Chris Cares None. Okay. And I got a great, this is our seventh episode? Yeah, Ebony and Ivory episode seven. This is Sarge from the gray area. You can put your volume yeah, on. Yeah, I, I just thought that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure I sit here and repeat everything I'm saying. <laughs> So this is, a, is this a seventh or eighth? This is Ebony and Ivory episode seven. Damn, it has been seven, seven times. Seven times. It don't feel like that to me. Does it feel like it's been seven times? No, it does not. It feels like you've been like three, four tops. I know. In order to do a podcast in general, you got to get past seven That's podcasts. For, yeah. We're doing, what is seven right now? Right, just ourselves, right. Yeah, so we're, we're solid. Have you done any Zooms yet? Uh, Zooms? I have not done any Zooms yet. You got to step your Zoom game up. Or it's probably better on Skype or some shit. Oh, speaking of, well, actually, it has nothing to do with what I'm about to say. <laughs> I might go iPhone, bro. Well, how dare you? I really? Know, I know. That I, iPhone, I know. Ha- I don't, has a, iPhone hasn't changed since 2007. I thought they haven't changed since the first one. <laughs> Just a big old block. <laughs> Here's the reason why I'm considering it. Unless this new Google phone comes out and it's like the best shit of all time. But what I have noticed about the iPhones that I think that I like uh-huh. is their selfie mode is pretty legit as fuck. 
Oh, what up? I had a feeling he did. He, he, he never comes here ever. And I was like, I bet you a thousand dollars. I, I should have said something out loud. Doesn't he live here? Yeah, but he don't be here though. What's up, man? What up, man? All right, you can watch it on TikTok. Yeah, <laughs> we on fucking TikTok. Yeah, TikTok. Right Anyways, now. uh, yeah. So, what the fuck? Oh, the iPhone. So I've always I've been very big on fuck people who use iPhones, right? Because they made this culture. They make fun of us. It's like fucking they bougie as hell. And like, what's yeah. worse, being black or having an Android? You want the white guy to answer? <laughs> you want the white guy to answer that question? <laughs> That's, Either way, you're fucked. Yeah, no, I'm joking. That's a Kafka trap, motherfucker. Yeah, no matter no. what I say, I'm screwed. <laughs> no, no, but uh, but somebody told me this about iPhones, and it made the most sense. He says when it comes to business, he said when it comes what I'm just waving at people that are showing up in the room. Oh, when it comes to business, iPhones perfect because it's it's the it's so easy because everyone has one. What, everyone's got an Android too. No, way more. People They're compatible that. too. In America, man, iPhones king. In is America. It? In America. Not in the world. Android runs superior to the world. Because of Asia. Well, Android is more of the operating system, and then I feel like Apple is more of the brand and operating system. Yeah, but... Whereas Android, you can be on a Samsung, you can be on a Google phone, you can be on a LG. So Android is like the... It's bigger because there's different brands, whereas iOS is just Apple, if I'm not mistaken. If you do Apple, you got to do everything Apple then. I know. Then you got, and I'm all Android, Google, everything. So I'm had to right. get all new everything. Chargers. You got the fucking Android charger that's good I for heard, your fucking. I heard the iPhone. They don't even give you a charger no more. Oh, just what is? I it? thought I read somewhere that they're not even offering chargers no more. Unicorn piss. No, I guess. Anyways. Uh, yeah, a lot of times you'll see people on TikTok. They'll be like, "What are your pronouns?" Uh, I identify as a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> a black carrot. He, him. For no, me. Um, Jesus. Can we talk about your motherfucking? Oh, can we talk about that publicly? Okay, hey, I won't go too vicious. Not names though. No, no, not names. Right, but okay. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, dude, he's brutal, bro. <laughs> he's brutal, man. Like, like cold hearted or just ignorant? Probably both. Like, listen, I I knew the guy. Like personally, we went to Washington D.C. trip and stayed in the same like room on like. You know what I'm saying? We were, Who was your third? Uh, Jay Pashazak. Oh. And another guy. I forgot who it was. But my point is, is this guy. I, like, I, was, like, I was like, cool with him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, we were we best, 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 best buddies. No, but we were always cool. You know what I'm saying? We hung out in the same like block and shit, you know? Yeah. And then we go to the, to the Vegas trips, right? Yeah. And he was the photographer. You know the story. I remember. I was invited to that. I couldn't go. Right, 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 right. And then we, so his deal was, and I was part of the decision on having him come, mind you. Let's not forget that. Because mm. Steve ran a lot of those decisions by me. So it's your fault. That he was, uh, I guess you can look at it that <laughs> way. <laughs> it's a good way to look at it. <laughs> Anyways, no, but he came, took some great photos, you know, and he got a free trip to Vegas and he took photos for for us, right? Mm-hmm. And then... So he gave, I think one, a photo bucket or something like that, where everyone, you can go get you some pics or whatever. Mm-hmm. He was trying to sell the pics. And I don't believe that that was whatever what the deal was or whatever. But I'm like, as one of the guys running the shit, let me just, you know, he took a few pictures. And I'm the focus of the picture. The picture is clearly of me. Mm-hmm. Right? It's me doing something like this. And, it, and it's a dope photo. He snapped. You know, right? So I, you, and I, somebody told me on Instagram when I, when I was making my videos, that you should put like a little tag thing at the end of your videos so people know that it's coming to an end and to put your name. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, I'll use that photo because it was a cool picture. It was fun. Da, 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 da. He was like, take it down now. And I'm like, I, I didn't even know that there, there was this photography thing. And oh, I had no idea. And yeah, and all, I had no idea, right? So I'm like, oh, Mitch, my fault that is, is it? He, he was like, I'm like, can I pay you for it? Like, nope, nope, just take it down. I'm like, wait, I can't pay you for it. I can't use them. Like, it's, he was like, he didn't give a fuck. You just take them down. That was a while. That was a while ago, yeah. That was a while ago. Okay, yeah, yeah. And and we went we went something back and forth. Happened? Yes. Shut up. Yes. Why? Yeah, <laughs> something else happened. So that was a while ago, right? Okay, okay. So I, remember, I remember having this conversation. So I'm thinking we came down. I'm thinking we came down. You know, to a result. You know, we resolved it. I blocked him on everything. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my life, and I won't use your shit no more. So I never got the right to the picture, huh? Yeah, and and Steve said if he could find the original thing that was signed, that we could probably be straight. But that was years ago, you know. Signed for what? 
I don't know. Mitchell was. He had a contract to come out there. Say his name, but it's, he had a contract to come out there. Yeah, he signed up. He's being like ridiculous. Like, dude, just take pictures for the for the sort of squad. And you it's gotta, not, this is it's not business. It's not business though. I mean, like, he looked at it as a business. These are your people. These are. That's like, what I'm saying. Like what? Like like what are you doing? And then he went to instant. Mind you, I had a bunch of videos on IG, bro. Some of them two, three hundred thousand views. A couple of them that were liked by celebrities. Like that, I guess I was using this at the end of all my videos. The same thing. I remember. And, and you can't, yep. you can't go back. Here's none. Right. Yeah. And you can't go back and just take that out of a video. Yeah. Once you post it, that's the way it is. Which makes same sense. thing. TikTok. What the fuck? Which makes sense though, because what if I'm like. I love rainbows and everyone likes the comments and you go back and say, I hate niggas. And then was like, oh, you like that? It makes, you know what I'm saying? So you can't, I don't think you should be able to go back and edit the videos after people have already. It's a little bit over the top. But you know what? I, but, but you could do that. Yeah. Okay. I like, I love rainbows. And then, I hate not going to say it. <laughs> right. Ever in my life. Right, right. right. So, so I'm thinking, you know, it, it is what it is. And he got them all taken down, bro. So I, one day I go on Instagram and it's like, you've been flagged for this. You remove these or do you re- re- rebuttal it? And I'm like, well, no, the motherfucker took the photo. Like, I didn't know what, what my root, like, I'm like, I, it was so shocking that you wanted me to, I'm like, Mitchell, it's me. And I called, I'm like, Mitch, what are you doing? It's me. <laughs> like, why are you treating, is I there see- ever an explanation for that? I could see, well, I think, it, so I'll get to that. I could see if I was some random guy or you were some random guy, fine. Like, you grew up with us. You drove to Vegas with us. Drove? Yes, he was in the car, sleeping all on me and shit. You Fate. fucking drove? Yeah, we drove every year. Because Steve was scared to fucking fly. Gooder, what the fuck? Yeah, he was scared to fly. Anyways, uh, so I'm like, I was so shocked. Supposedly, he told, I guess he told me this too. Because, you know, my jokes can be a little a little risque. You know what I'm saying? And Racist. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but, but, but of all people... Yeah, I get everybody. I just it's made not it water. It's not racist if you're black telling the joke. Yeah, yeah, well, I guess. Yeah, but my point. But not even sometimes it'd be a sexual joke. No, I know. I'm just, I'm just shooting. Yeah, you know, sarcasm. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not being serious. Uh, so, so I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. You know, he said, "Well, you know, I have a family thing, and I don't want my name." All right, because here's what happened. I'll, I'll go back. I tagged them because I'm like, he's freaking out. Like, what the fuck? So I'm like, I'll give you the credit. It was never about not giving you the credit. I just didn't understand the significance of giving the, the person who took the photo credit. I, it, was, it wasn't like I was trying to fuck him. I just didn't even think about it. So I tagged him in all the ones. Cause I'm, and, and I have a following. I can actually help you out. I could get you. I can help get you some business. Like, what are you, what are you doing it to me for? Especially the following in like Chicagoland too. Thank you. Big thing. And, and would, I would, you know, and, and I get it. If, if you have like a family thing that you're doing, I can understand why you might not want to be attached to my name. Because my shit isn't necessarily friendly, f- uh, family friendly. Mm. I can understand that. He goes, take it down, take it down. And then they, they came to a point where he was like, I just don't, just, I don't, I don't care nothing. There's nothing you can't pay. And I'm like, to me, that energy is some very fuck you energy. You campaigned? I can't pay. Like, I'm like, can I pay you for him? Like, or the, you know, or something. Right? What? Them is in plural? You just wanted that one photo with the with the hat. With that's the, what I'm saying. Well, that's what I'm saying. So the one photo, right, right, that I could use. And he was just, he just wasn't going. Did man. he even give you a price for it? And so then after all this going back and forth for a while, and then, so then finally he hits me with the, after like a month and a half or something like that, he goes, all right, and it was some astronomical fucking number, like $600 or something. For, for one it. picture like yes. this. Yes. And it's me. And we got you different, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, dude, I'm, I'm like, fuck you, man. And then he went to Instagram and had them take it down. That's ridiculous. So now I, all those videos, and then I don't know about the shadow ban shit, but that I would imagine if there, if that's a real thing, that could hurt if you. If you go, if if something like that fucking happens to you, they don't want to put your stuff out there as fat mo- as, as much anymore. That's what I'm saying with the shadow ban. But yeah, like your stuff could be legit as fuck after that incident, but you had that incident, and because you had that incident, Instagram's like, all right, let's bring them back. back let's the- bring, the, and I feel like. After that, it, probably, it, yep. I, it got, I felt that. Yep. So it's like, and I was getting trajectory. Bitch, I could take a better fucking photo on my Android with the same shit with the Cares None hat. We just need, you know, fake people behind you. Or, no, I'm not going to listen. As, as much as he's a dick, it was a great photo. It was a great photo. It was a great photo. It was edited. I, I've seen it. Yeah, I love it. The guy, the guy knows what he's doing. You still have it. Yeah, yeah, but I can't fucking... You can't put it anywhere. Which is fucked up, right? And it's, anyway, and what's so fucked up, it's a picture of me. 
Yeah, it's your shit. That's what's crazy. You took a picture of no, but hit, oh, this so, is why so, people. This is why people are pissed off at the paparazzi. By the way, my, oh, because they almost. Yeah, that's my, a good point. That, yeah. my, my brother's paparazzi right now. Yeah, fucking. He's asshole. the reason Princess Diana. Oh, wait, I, I didn't tell you the next. So the ne- the new thing. Oh God, I so, don't think I'm, I don't think my fucking heart's ready for this. He, he took a so he also took a photo of me and Steve. Steve holding up uh, a drink, wearing like a spade shirt. Or a shirt with the with the king from a cards, it's like his favorite shirt, and then me holding a bottle of Ace of Spades. I okay, okay. It's just a picture of me and Steve, my my fucking brother, right? right. And I just I, I gave him an appreciation post, you know. I put it on I put it on IG. Mind you, he's blocked. Oh, God. He's blocked. Parker Images is blocked. Anything that he's fucking with is blocked because I'm like I don't want nothing to do. And I wasn't even thinking about this. I just saw the first dope picture that I saw of me and Steve. Posted that picture and da 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 da. I wake up the next morning. This 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 has been removed. I'm like, for what? I'm like, no. And then it said his fucking. I'm like, dude, it's one thing you fuck with me, but this is that you read that. It was an appreciation post for Steve. They had nothing to do with me or you. It, we it, lived it, it, on the same fucking street that you were always on growing up back in the day. You always. So and so he so he like reopens. I don't even know unless he so either a he found an, uh, he like made another account or b he knows someone else who did his dirty work. It's something about the tagging and the fucking who's allowed to see your stuff, who's not allowed to see your stuff. If you tag somebody in blah blah blah. Well, I didn't tag. Put, I didn't tag nobody in it. Gooder, no. That might have that might have been that might have been the loophole into why he saw that. Even if he's blocked, yes, because he's. That might have been the loophole. Yeah. Fucking asshole. I'm like, dude. <laughs> and and for a hot minute, I, I, I was like, I was out for a shark for blood, man. I was like, I get it. okay, you fucking with me. Like, you fucking with me now. So not to harp on that, but that's just just to me. And, and me, like, what what do I do to ever deserve that from yo ass, from anybody especially? Well, if it makes you feel any better, that motherfucker's Frodo to me. Frodo? Fredo. He's Fredo to me. Like Alfredo? No, no. Like Fredo from Goodfellas. Like, he, <laughs> he's my brother, but. He's he's not my family. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you don't don't if you, if anything fucking were to happen, you're good. not I'm not gonna be busting down your fucking screen door like oh did you mean? No, no, and I knew that. Yeah. Okay. If I felt that way, you wouldn't have been here. But although, but although I've been reading this new book called the Tao the Tao Te Ching. You ever heard of it? I guarantee you mispronounced that somehow. It, it's Tao Tao Te Ching Tao Te Ching. It's T A O, but it's pr- pronounced Tao. It's it's Tao. Tao. It is Tao. It's Tao. Wow. Because I was saying Tao like a motherfucker, and then and I went on YouTube to like kind of break it down a little bit, and everyone was calling it the Tao. Written by. So it's, I don't I don't I don't know the dude's name, but they don't even know if the dude actually existed. Like they can't. And this is like I'm talking long, long like Eastern, like more like vicious. This is almost like a um, like a Sun Tzu fucking art of worship. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. That old. Yeah. Okay. Something gotcha. like yeah. that. And it's like it, what it what it feels like to me is like a almost like an instruction manual to how to exist. I used to always say, like, man, life doesn't come in instruction manuals. Like, no, I think I might have found it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a new way of looking at things from like a a, a a a one's perspective. You know how the Eastern culture is. You're very you, oh, you yeah. know about that. Mm-hmm. And they they do things so differently. And I'm starting to believe that maybe they do shit better. It's possible. Like yeah, that's an opinion, but I feel like like their food be just some point. I don't know. It, I think our way makes great money. Yep. I think we figured that shit out. Like, and we'll take your shit over. <laughs> their life, their karma, their feng shui, their medicine. Yeah, like they just healthier. Shit. Everything's just everything's different. They have thousands of years on us. We we have we have Western culture, medieval times, and fucking. You know chemicals that we're throwing into our bodies, thinking this will make it go away. When you have natural shit like garlic and ginseng and all the stuff that they have over there in Asia, minus the cats and the dogs, right? I mean, that is a little weird. That's just a population thing. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Not everybody can have chicken and beef in China. You can't. Oh, so you mean like like is it a poor thing to eat dogs? It's um, just a convenience thing. Now, you're gonna be paying more for the pecking duck. I'm telling you, you're gonna be paying more for the pecking duck. You'll be paying more for the beef. You'll be paying more for the chicken. But that fucking house cat that just lays around <laughs> all the fucking day, and just you know, steals your shit. Some cats are good. They take care of the mice problem. Get rid of the mice problem. Then what do you got? They eat rats over there. 
Well, they 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 ate rats in Demolition Man too. The rat burger. Oh, the, the rat burger. Yeah, the fiction the fictional movie that never fucking happened. <laughs> the future too. Yeah, where Wesley Snipes had right. uh, bleach blonde hair. Yeah, right, yeah. right. right. <laughs> no, he. Uh, you know what I saw on TikTok? <laughs> of course. TikTok is vicious. It is. It's great though. And the algorithm. Fuck my my topic. This is about this. The algorithm is. It's. I would almost argue it's perfect. Something's fucked up with it. It's. Like, what do you mean? There's a girl on there. She's like one of the f- first TikTokers, Charlie D'Amelio. Oh yeah, she's like a billion followers or something, right? One hundred and seventy million followers or she's, some shit. She's number one. Have right? you ever seen her on your FYP? Have you ever seen this girl on your For You page? Once. Ever. I don't think I have. Now that what I'm... the fuck? Oh, she's little little Miss TikTok. Where the fuck are your videos at, little Miss TikTok? And I don't see you. Ever. Do I know you, your name, and that's so it. So let me ask you, do you think, you, like, on some conspiracy, she was selected? I've, you're going to have a face. you got to have a that, something to, to make the brand work. It's all going to be the fucking sex sell shit, tight body but she shit. Does, but she, first of all, she ain't even, listen, no disrespect to that young girl. She's dope. I fucks with her. But she ain't out here selling her body. Like, she ain't really doing too much of that. I don't even see her videos. But so I, I've gone to her page because I've talked about her, right? And I follow her because I there was this one thing where she like lost a bunch of followers because she made a, a comment. I don't know, and then she lost like two million followers. And, Once I, and I was like, "Once you get to that level, it's just." But she, but she's a sixteen, go- so she was crying. You're going to piss somebody off eventually. But when she's as a sixteen year old girl, I can see how that would hurt. I get it. I get it now. But if she ever makes it in like the news industry or something like that, their cancel culture and woke culture. I don't want to get into fucking politics. I know, but. That woke cancel culture shit will find that comment when she was 16 and she does, she's gone. It doesn't matter that she said it when she was 16. Like there, there, there are girls out there that lose, that are losing scholarships that are losing scholarships to, um, colleges because they, they dropped the end bomb in a rap lyric on Snapchat fucking 10 years ago or some shit. That's it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's insanity. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, I was I wasn't cool with Kendrick Lamar. Hi. He he had a uh, a concert and had a girl come up on stage and w- and told her to sing the lyrics. Okay. So he he invited her up to sing his song. She was white. She was white. Fuck. And she was killing it. I bet. She dropped in because you know she's she's there. To, she supported you. She dropped the in bomb. Okay. Because it was in the lyric that he told her to sing. Right. And then he was all like, hey, oh, and then all the crowd booed and shit. And it's just like, to me, he pers- set her up like that. I don't know if he did it on intentionally. Like she's supposed to skip the or beep it. And listen, and people do that. Like, like I, know I skip my, it. This is what I'm saying. So people do that. My thing is, and this is my personal opinion. That's fucked up. It that's, is fucked up. That's fucked up. And, and I'm also another thing is you give power to the shit. Now, I know this is a very unpopular opinion. Most black people ain't going to say this. And I don't care's nothing. Be dope. But when when you give when you when you're so like uh, to anything to a word that means you're giving it power. So I think that's why blacks took that word originally and said "fuck you." We're gonna make it our fucking word. But I don't I don't I don't think that it's fair. That then like she, then he got pissed off at her too. Uh huh. I'm just I'm just I'm just, oh. I'm just making some space. There we go. Halfway through it, we're gonna, I'm going to do hop on IG, too. So I can read this motherfucker. Yeah. 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 So I just thought that that wasn't cool. I don't I don't like the whole systematic, woke, cancel culture shit. I understand that, that there's problems out there, but you can't judge a person for saying a lyric when it's your lyric and they're appreciating your music and whatever. In passing, it, they, they say it fucking just in the moment, you know. But I, and then, I mean, I understand, you know, taking the word and owning it, but then you have the emphasis on the A and the ER, right? So can you, can you break it down for the people out there? Yeah, I'll help you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. The, the hard R is never, it's a, it's a, it just doesn't even sound like welcoming. That's just hate. Straight hate. I don't even know if I can say this on TikTok. I, don't, I probably should. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, if it was on IG, I'd say that. I should fuck out of that. But I'm not going to say it on TikTok. Mm-hmm. So um, it's the N-word. Rem- yeah, with the hard R. Hard R. Yeah, mm-hmm. with the hard R. And it just, you and you can't, say, and what I've heard in my life is people who are of uh, fairer skin. <laughs> I, 
I've heard them say things like, oh, what's up, my N-word har har? And I'm like, and they were doing it to, like, fit in or, like, to be cool or to, you know, but that's ridiculous. How do you not know that? Right. How do you not know that the hard R, like, like, how are you that uncool? I got to find, because right now we're echoing. So if I were to, I, I would need to mute this somehow. But I don't, I, because it's coming in on yours, but you're like right there. Right? So if you go to Instagram. Yeah, what you about to do in like and 10 I, minutes? Well, you're going to do that in 10 minutes? All right, perfect. So if you can do that in 10 minutes, and then we won't have an echo, because you'll be on Instagram and I'll be here. Yeah, I'll do it right now. Shit. Sorry, fellas. I don't even know who's on there. No one's even watching this shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, the echo's gone. The echo's got to disappear. So I wonder why. It, is that because of the two phones? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Because we're in close to the There's 206 viewers on that. That was dope. Well, there you go. TikTok is the, is the one to do, man. Oh, that's probably because of you, though. You probably got people watching your shit. I doubt it. I have a little bit of people. A little bit. Uh, so let's go to IG. But these are my people right here. This, 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 this cares nothing. Now you got to, now you got to do the angle. Oh, that's right. God now you got to do the angle. God damn it! It is what it is, man. But then, then you gotta I got uh, you got to remind me to look back. I got your boy Coleman's uh, niece over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. tell her I said what's up. There's a new feature. He ended the live and booted me. <laughs> you got booted? No, he's going. He's going to Instagram now. He's going to Instagram now. So you got booted? No, no, no. Uh, Mark's uh, niece. Let's see. That's good. There it is. Perfect. There you go. How's that? That's it's, it's, he's on Instagram. You go, to, you go to his Instagram or you can stay here. Whatever. All right. We're che- they're checking the connection. <laughs> it's checking the connection. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a thousand degrees. I, I know I, what you're d- talking d- about. The didn't muggy. I tell you? I know what you're talking about. The muggy thing. I told you. I tried to tell you. It's fine. Because the AC would be too loud. I'll, I'll go through it. Yeah. I, I, do you do you need you, you seem like you're struggling. You okay? No, I'll be okay. Do what it is. <laughs> it's all good. I just got to just do the Are you do you Am sweat I? profusely? Is that a word? Perf- profusely. Perf- yeah. Do you sweat that? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. I mean, it depends it depends, but yeah, when it's Hey, hey, so last time Uh-huh. I was told that I never looked at the, at the phone one time. You never did. I'm gonna look more this time. Good. So Anyways, what the fuck are we talking about? Oh, cancel culture and the well, hard R. Hard R. And what's the A? A's like, hey, buddy. Hey, I, friendo. I, I, can say it on, I can say it on IG. I don't give a fuck if you say it here. Well, either. but they'll, they'll like cancel you on TikTok. TikTok? I get more shit canceled or taken down on TikTok than anything else. Oh, really? So a lot of my jokes that will work on all the other platforms won't work on TikTok. You get too sexualized or whatever. Se- de- definitely the sexualized ones. And, <laughs> and I think saying the N-word. Well, I'm not saying it. I know, but you'll still hear it. You might get canceled because I say it. We won't, they won't cancel me. They'll, they'll, well, they'll, they'll, just, they'll just take it down or that, stop it. That's what I'm saying. So I'll, I'll try to, you know what? Nigger. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't understand how white, how white. I'm, I'm just going to say anyone who that's is racist. not. Hold on. I'm not going to say That's a white. racist way to say I'm it. I'm going to say, I don't understand how anyone who is not of, of the culture. Oh, because <laughs> so, you could be like an old Indian man, I guess. White people, but if, <laughs> essentially, <laughs> uh, Anglo-Saxons. Uh huh. From the mountains of Caucasus. <laughs> if if you wanted to like be like, oh, what up, man? I want I want to fit in with this guy. How would you not know to not use the hard R? Any white guy that comes up to you and be like, "What's up?" and we're trying to be friends with you, it needs to be punched in the fucking face. <laughs> No, well, I've had that a bunch of times. People be like, "Oh, what's up, my nigga?" No way. I, I've gotten that. No way. They and they know they everyone feels comfortable around me, right? So everyone's always they always oh, let God. their fucking guard down around me. That's, that's still not no. Nope. But I'm also in in according to the Dao Te Ching, <laughs> I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to really have empathy for everyone because it's like we're all part of this thing. Yeah. Well, the the day, you know? I don't know why pigmentation has anything to do with anything or melatonin. A or lot of people get, man, that's a thing. We're still, ki- dude, we're still killing each other over, uh-huh. sh- over shit like that. Like, we're still animals. Did you see, like, yeah. The but aliens ain't, they ain't, we ain't ready for no aliens. No, apparently. They might be here already. Apparently, the, the earth is not what we thought it was. This is the new conspiracy theory. Oh, oh, this yeah. is where the flat earth is. I like conspiracy This is where flat earth and uh, round earth hey. come together, right? So you got you got the uh, 
the R is never okay, says Denise. The R is never okay, she says. So Yeah, like for, for anybody who's don't use the hard she's R. She's just protecting herself because she's white as fuck, just like me. No, but I think unless you hate hard R's <laughs> that's the only way you would think it was okay it's never okay like if you're cool no I'm still to us but right. to the people to the people who use that word to them it's okay even when people of color use it for other people of color they don't even use the hard R even that's if, my point even if they're about to shoot you in the fucking face we still say A you still say A <laughs> it, it'd be like check I, yourself nigga I I you, but I, I appreciate you. I'm yeah, not, I'm not yeah I, don't, I don't understand that, man. I don't. I don't. It's like I want you dead, but not like that. Personally, I hate when people do that. That's like one of the few. I don't hate many things. I don't. I don't like. How about that? When people go out of their way to try to find something to to fit in. Like I remember one guy oh, came to me one day. Like the the first time I let's say I'm your I, I'm I'm your boss. You're my boss or whatever. You're coming over for dinner, whatever. And I make fried chicken. <laughs> I mean, fried chicken, Kool-Aid, I and watermelon. Pers- I personally would think that that was hilarious. Okay. And I would definitely but, love that to put on the podcast. But that would be something that's... That'd be fucked know, up. That'd be something that's, like, kind of... I wasn't going to that extreme. Right. I was going to say, like, like this actually... Like, happened. me and you, if you're coming over now, I'd totally do it. Right, right. Because- and, and I would actually, personally, say, I would want that. <laughs> right. I mean, you- I love fried chicken. I love watermelon. Yeah. And, and I like grapes. Like, yes, please. I, you- every time. Every time I come over there, that's what I want. But you're my boss visiting me for whatever the fuck. And I'm making that. <laughs> yeah. Like, now, again, if if you stuck in this matrix, you know, and, and that kind of shit bothers you, to me, like, I just got bigger fish to fry than that. When um, Unless you can, to me, whatever happened to context you can tell when someone's trying to hurt you, hurt you when they're not. So even though the nerd was like, "Hey, what's up, my nigger?" <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, like I know a lot of people will like want to whoop their ass, and right. I I just don't feel that energy. I'll just be like, <laughs> if anything, I would say, "What a clown!" Yeah, you know, and yeah. then go on my way. Right now, if they're trying to come at me on some, you know, then we have a different story because now I got to defend myself. But right, I get that. I don't know. I I've, I've never been that way. I've never cared about word. It, it's a word. Right. Um, excuse me. I cared about the context of the word. You know? Where it came from. Yeah, like it's like a joke. Especially, especially in joking. Like another one, like making fun of... Uh, I made a joke about... Uh, people kept calling me a re- quote from a lot of people, a retarded ice cube. I, got, I, I still get called that all the time. And then you did a... And I did this skit. <laughs> And it was hilarious. I agree, with baby. <laughs> and it was hilarious. <laughs> it was funny. And and I got a lot. I got great responses because it was hilarious. Yeah, but, but a few people yeah, weren't feeling that there's, joke. There's always a, there's always a, those few in there. The woke crowd. <laughs> there was a couple that was like, "Whoa, you know? <laughs> that's a little bit over." But, um, the top. but, but here's but here's my thing. I you you people know my intention, and I guess if you don't, then you don't. But if you know me, come on now, relax. Oh, absolutely, I get it. But th- that's that's what's going on, man. That's what's fucking going on with the world. And I don't think, do you think it'll get easier or do you think the cancel culture is here and it's just, it's just going to keep getting more and more vicious? No, it's going gonna, it's gonna to die. Oh, people, what's your theory? The people are going to be like, 2022, this shit needs to go. Cancel culture is a fucking detriment to society. This woke culture is a detriment to society. People are not that serious. And if you are that serious, get a fucking life. Loosen up a little bit. Comedians can't even be comedians anymore because of everything that's going on with, you know, they can't make a fucking joke without people be like, that's racist. It's comedy. Wait, it's supposed to be edgy. Yes. Like Shakespeare wrote a lot of tragic comedies that had a lot of hilarity in it because, they're, they're, I mean, it's it sucks so bad that it's hilarious. Hey, well, here's my theory of what's really going on Mm -hmm. is majority of people are kind of down to earth and are cool about shit. Majority. Yeah. But because of the internet, now the, the, the the small, small percentage of people who have, who really have a problem with shit have a loud ass bark, you know, cause you can get a platform and shit and that, you know, Yeah. but I really think when you just walking down the street and you, the the odds of you running to someone who's, who's canceled woke is, is very slim compared to the the amount of people who are chill. Right. Especially in our immediate area within a hundred, like 50 mile radius. I feel like most people are kind of in the middle of everything. Most people. You agree with that? I agree. But there's those Karens. 
There's people that are just a little bit over the top. Some people that have mental issues. You know, that. what do you call it when you call someone Karen and their name's not Karen? I don't call people a Karen unless they're acting like a Karen. <laughs> With it, you know how like that's like is like a racial thing. What would you call that? That's not racial, obviously. That's just is a Karenism. You're being carist. Oh God, <laughs> Karenist. No, stop being a Karen. Just like just I know, Karen. but like what 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 does that mean to you? I know what it means, but like what do you, what is the definition of a Karen? Mind your own fucking business. So why 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 are you all why are you so all over women? Here? Is it an older white woman? It's ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time is it's a white woman. <laughs> now I'll say this: my grandmother was a black Karen. Really? He, 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 she, my bad, mom, but I got I got to tell this story. She's brutal with her facial expressions and 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 <laughs> she doesn't realize that she wears her thoughts on her face. <laughs> so we'll be at the restaurant, right? It's brutal. We'll be at a restaurant. And she'll say, uh, and the server like, oh, today's special is sushi or some shit. And she'll go, oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. And I'm like, ma, I'm like, I'm sorry, <laughs> you know. And I serve, so like, I'm even extra, and I'm black, and I know what people think. So I'm all, I'm already like, <laughs> just work with me. Let work me just with uh, apologize in advance. Yeah, but she, and she's like, what? What do you mean? And I'm like, you don't realize that I want, I, I won't <laughs> tell this to her face, <laughs> right? Because I'm not ridiculous. I don't want to get smacked. I'm like, ma, you're being a bitch. I would say that, and she might say this one day. And I'm, I love you, but you be you be acting out, you be wilding, you can't be doing that to human beings. She just said she was proud of you too, man. And she's still proud. Is she is she not proud of me after that? You, shit. No, but yeah. so to go back to a, an uh, to to balance off that point, mm-hmm. when you smile and when you get have a genuine vibe, I've been talking about this lately, and I've talked about this before. The it, I feel like the universe or the Tao. Dao Te Ching, mm. <laughs> the same shit essentially. There you go. It 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 will take care of you, like if you're a good human being. Like don't get me wrong, don't let people walk over you and shit like that. But you can be just be just be cool, chill. You know, like I don't know, like like when you're when you're driving, and someone has to get, let them over, let them over. Mm-hmm. I, and some people are just like like okay. No, I always time let people. Uh oh, uh oh. No, no, no. You got a rebuttal to being a nice guy. No, I got a rebuttal to people being an asshole, okay? If I've been waiting for five miles because this is my fucking exit, I'm not going to drive on the outside lane or the shoulder and try to cut into the exit right at the end because all these other fucking lanes are closed. I'm not going to be like, eh, oh, wait, I forgot. I have to exit here, too. Oh, okay, and wait, 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 wait. Pass, like, two I have a rebuttal. I have a rebuttal to that because I would have thought the same. Me and Steve actually went through this, this exact point. Your girlfriend's giving you directions? No, first of all, that's ridiculous. It's Google. Oh, give me directions. Oh, Google's your girlfriend. <laughs> to be honest, Google's always done me right. Google, go to Pornhub. <laughs> Google has never done me bogus. By the way, I like the new layout. Of what? The the, uh, the cares none be dope layout. Of what? Pornhub. Oh, the new shirt. The, the new design. Yeah, yeah that's dope. You caught that? I, I thought it. that shit was dope. Um. Oh. So when people are driving, and then the people who go to, like wait to the end and cut over, those people are assholes, right? One hundred percent. Like just you saw it was coming up, you just tried to skip. <laughs> like, they're, they're trying and, to save. Like, them. And I've done that. I've done that on purpose. Yes. Trying to save yourself what five minutes? <laughs> yeah. But 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 then I and and, and but and, and knowing I was being an asshole, like I'm gonna be an asshole. Fuck it, cares not, right? But then I saw. Were you in a rush? Did you have to be somewhere? No, I was an asshole. Oh, just... Oh. I was an asshole. You didn't give a fuck about anybody else. Yeah. Straight asshole. Okay. <laughs> okay, got Selfish it. Selfish piece of shit. Got it. But we saw something online, and it's got to be true. Oh, because it's online? Don't but, be But it made sense. They, they call it the zipper effect. <laughs> this is a real thing. It actually makes more sense for people to do that, and it would actually cause less traffic in the long run if more people went to the right, and then it evened up, and then you just zippered. I swear to God, I read that and I was like, "What?" Yeah, but you're you're talking about you're talking about fucking nothing. It's not it's not a zipper, okay? You're talking about <laughs> you're talking about left lane, right lane coming together on an entrance or an exit and shit merging like that, right? Right. You this motherfucker's coming from not the zipper, but like the fucking left pocket, and he's zipping across <laughs> okay, your whole fucking yeah. shirt. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Okay, and I've done that too. <laughs> 
I've done it. I used to be. Remember my Camaro days? Yes. I used to be wild in that boy. I once was driving on two donuts for, on the front. <laughs> and you know, those. Uh, You're they, sitting a little low then. Going like, 120 on insane. two. <laughs> no, ask Coleman about this shit. Uh, and Mike, we were coming from NIU. And I was drunk. You're just on 88, just hauling ass. Hauling ass, <laughs> drunk, <laughs> underage. <laughs> on two Statue, of, statue of limitations, right? I can't get... Can oh, I, you're good now. Yeah. yeah. So I was underage you're, drinking. You're, you're fucking 36? <laughs> 37. 37. Oh, yeah, you just had your birthday, February, right? Yeah, so... Uh, but yeah, I, I used to don't give a fuck. And my only, I had a V6. And I used to regularly beat Z06s and Corvettes because I was more willing to do that r- ridiculous shit. Mm. Like, I would go on the median extremely fast and risk my whole entire life. Now, did you learn that on your own, or were you hanging out with Gooder too much because he was a crazy-ass fucking driver? No, nah, I didn't. Not really. No, because I this is before him, really. This is my, That was high school. I didn't really... We, we weren't that close during high school. Okay. Uh, but my point is, is I just was always like to go fast. And I just had balls, I guess. I don't know. I, I would make some close calls. Two donuts drunk underage... Yeah, you're coming, going, from, you're coming from NIU back to Wheeling, Illinois. Going on, going a hundred and like ten, fifteen. Nice. Yeah, so that wasn't that wasn't smart. <laughs> I've done a lot of dumb shit in my day. <laughs> I think that's why I'm so nice, nice of a guy now because I'm trying to make up for all the dumb shit. I why did. didn't Coleman drive? Why didn't he? Yeah, he did drive. He just didn't. Why he didn't drive fast? He had like, a, he had a Mustang. Was he hammered too? He was actually pretty good about not drinking and driving. He was smart. Oh, but he was drunk when you were doing that that day. It, it might have not been. It might have been Mike, not Mark. Uh, Mike, that is here right now as we speak. Mike. No, he left. Oh, did he? Yeah, he left. Oh, okay. I think he left, didn't he? I, I yeah, he could probably give a damn. Uh, yeah, but so did you ever drive a sports car? I had one once upon a time. Yeah. Did you go crazy? Every now and then, yeah. I got 140 every now and then. That's but, that's a different world to go that fast. Yeah. But that's that's army days. I don't give a fuck about life. <laughs> I just got back from war. I don't care. Nothing could fucking. Did hurt you have me. the PTSD thing or whatever? Well, I briefly for for some time. But e- explain because I, I really don't know. So I'm 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 gonna shut the fuck up. What is that? PTSDs. It, it could it could apply to you know going to war, and the loud noises, the explosions, the death, the blood, seeing people die. Just the experience of like the heat, the elements, not knowing what could happen in the next two seconds. Hurry up and wait. You could be completely fine. You could die in your sleep. It's just like the uh, the what if scenario, but it's like right there on your face, right? But it could also happen to you're in a car accident, you're in a horrible plane wreck, or or have a baby. Having a baby, women can be women can be you know. So raped. is it just stressful? You can be fucking jumped. It's a it's a it's a life or death pretty much situation or a course of in course of time where you're in life or death like you're you're over at sea you're overseas and your next second could be like lights out you're not let me let me ask you tomorrow's this tomorrow's not guaranteed and then you get back and then you get back and there's going to be little triggers like uh things that are going to like it's like deja vu, but you actually live through it, and it's going to make you remember then, whether it's uh, fireworks. Like veterans are pretty good about fireworks on the Fourth of July, or when you know their home team wins, they're expecting it. But when you have those motherfuckers light off those big old booms at two o'clock in the morning for no fucking reason, those are, those suck. Those just fucking suck. And pretty much the amount of time you serve. So I was in for, I was in. Active for four, the whole thing for eight, it's double the time you're in. So so four years, eight years after that, I'm good. Oh, is it for everybody? Pretty much. It goes away double pre- the years? It's pretty much double double the years. But uh, I mean, if you're if you're a lifer, if you're in for twenty years, it's gonna take you forty years after you get out to even fucking figure it. That's why that's why you got people And that's like scientific? Are they proving that? People in Vietnam still have fucking crazy shit. But people who were like in in Afghanistan, same thing. But yeah. if but if they've already there for a few years, they might be over it now. If they were, if they're a lifer and they've been deployed more no, than no, once, no, no, they're not a lifer. They they just went and they fought that war. Well, and, I'm good. 
I think I'm good now. Okay, so yeah. Every every now every now and then there's a firework that'll go off and I'll just be like like a quick little get your bearings and realize where I'm at. But there are Vietnam vets out there that you know fireworks go off and they're just fucking flipping over the fucking bed and screaming. Hold on, oh. hold on. I, I'm gonna read these times. Tag says tag, an event that causes a tremendous stress on you that causes you to fear for your life. Oh. Now let me ask you this. I'm glad he said that. Like I said, it could be anything. Now, <laughs> now let me ask you. Yeah. This. Let me ask you this. When it comes to everyone's depressed and and everyone's going through these things because life is a motherfucker, I get it. Is that a new thing or is that something that we've just never talked about? Because to me personally, when I go through shit, I don't feel like I don't I don't like get depressed and down. Personally, I always try to find the light in everything including the bad shit. My whole thing is the good shit happens right after the bad shit. You so learn more from a, losing than you would from winning. For a fact. So oh, anything that's a shitty situation, what is that? What is that? I feel like I've been hearing more and more of that and people are depressed and then they're getting on these pills and shit. And it's like, whatever happened to just figuring out answers of how to feel better and get your mind right. I, to me, it's a mindset. I could be wrong. My fuck studied this and there's clearly doctors and shit say, you know, people are clinically depressed. Mm-hmm. And maybe just because I'm not clinically depressed, but I feel like... Well, they have a quota to fill some prescriptions. So... Th- and then people get addicted to fucking medicine. And then... You, and then right. And so then you think get- it's more that than actually people are really depressed? And they don't get the prescription anymore because the doctor's like, I got to cut you off. And then all of a sudden you go going through withdrawal and you're fucking... And then you feel like shit. You know? So do you think if people are really are depressed or there's something they've been pushing to get people on medicine? I think when people say they're depressed, sometimes it's a pity party. And sometimes it's legit, but lots of people that are saying that they're depressed or they hey, go. Tag said, "Hold on, my bad." Yeah, he served three years and has PTSD, but only rarely does he get triggered. Does, do they get triggered? I don't know if it's a he. Yeah, it goes away. It'll, it'll go away. Like if he, whether he just got out or he's been out for a while, the longer you're out, the 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 faster it goes away. Like the longer you, you're the longer you're out, the less it's lingering in your fucking head. So, so, but when so it comes to when it comes like twenty two a day, that's a legit thing. Like twenty two veterans a day, fucking kill themselves. That that's legit. A serious, that's a serious number. Yeah, and it's it's uh, when people say, "Oh, I'm depressed, I'm going to kill themselves." If they tell you that, they're not going to do that shit. They're 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 reaching out for clout. They want uh, they want a pity party. They want the fucking attention. Now hold on they, before before we before you make a definitive. So you're saying not all the time. Okay, all right. So that's but ma- majority generally of the time. speaking. Okay, yeah. Because I'm like, because the last thing I think to me that's like the worst thing you could do to somebody is if you're talking that like I don't, I don't want you know I'm about to do this, I need help. I'm I'm off the ledge. People that I think. Wait, hold on. And then I, I, I have to say something. Mm-hmm. Because I know how I'm gonna feel if I didn't take that serious. So to me, it's so fucked up. You know, I've had people in my life done that. And it's just like that, you know, but then you, because what if they really are feeling this way? So you want to be there for them. But then if, if they do that multiple times, like that's, that, that to me is one of the un, most uncool thing you could do to someone, especially if they care about you. Right. It's to, 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 to continuously, they know but, but what mm-hmm. if they really are fucking going through that shit? And they keep going back to you? Well, because no, I, I think they're just, they're, they're going back to whoever willing to listen. You know what I'm saying? And I'm always, you know me, I, I'm willing to listen to anybody. But it's like, man, that's just not fair because because if what happens is after four or five times you hear this talk with this person, uh, they might do this and you talk about the legend, da, 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 da. And then like that fifth, sixth, seventh time, you're like, OK, well, now you're wasting my time. What are you trying to do here? Da, da, da. And then they do it. Do they do it? My I, I know people who have definitely done that. And when they did it, did you know that they were going to do it? I personally don't know that they were going to do it, but I know Steve knows someone who did that, and, and, and it was because of a girl, too. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, God. That's sad. That's so sad. Lots of the time, in my, <clears throat> from a veteran perspective, we're not going to be like, I'm going to kill myself. We're not going to look for, we're not going to look for, uh, we're not going to look for fucking attention. Once we make that decision, we make that fucking decision. What we do. And they get all done up, do it right, too, right? Pretty they much, do it right. That's like we're gonna, we're, we're gonna, <laughs> that's kind of fucked up. No, we 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 don't get, they get like you know you get all suited up when we do it. We don't fuck up. We're, we're not gonna like I'm not a survivor of suicide. What you failed at quitting? Get the fuck out of here. So there, like there's people that um like there's a lot of 
veteran. This is a, this is a dark topic. It is. <laughs> dark. I, I, I I hate I, I hate, I hate suicide. It's fucking it's, it's sad. Brutal. But I think I think suicide. Kind of selfish. I, it's fucking the most selfish thing on the planet. Be like you're gonna do that and you're gonna leave me here thinking that I could have done something else when you've been like this you uh, fucking it's asshole. So selfish. But what if they? What if they really just couldn't handle it? Listen, listen. listen. Then fucking talk to somebody. Well, hold on. I'll say this, And though. be legit about it. <laughs> I get you. I get you. Life is a motherfucker, though. Yeah. <laughs> when you think about what the fuck is going on, it's so you're like... Gonna, so you're going to just bitch out and leave me listen, all your fucking time? I agree with you. However, some people might be that weak-minded, man. It's possible. Uh, and how does it say... Is it, at, and then they, and then they, then they think they deserve a fucking medal and we're like, oh... I'm a survivor of suicide. No, you failed <laughs> at quitting. Okay, That's it's up. sad. I get it. But veterans, when they do it, we're gonna we're gonna hang out with our friends. We're gonna drink with our buddies. We're gonna see places. We're gonna fucking you know pet the dog, take the dog for a walk, do things that we enjoy doing it. But we're not gonna be like. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I need attention. I'm going to kill myself. No. We're going to do the things we enjoyed doing when we were alive, and then it's fucking lights out. Lights fucking out. That's how. That's usually how veterans do it. And veterans do it for a whole bunch of fucking reasons. But one of the main reasons is you go overseas, you do your shit, you come back here, you're unappreciated, the, the country that you serve doesn't appreciate you, your fucking wife that you were getting shot at for overseas spent all your fucking money and took your dog... And and fucked some black dude. Why is it? Why is so it just, black? Just to make it more fucked up. Oh okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we have we we have we have the code of like Jody. Jody is the name of the term. That's the term. Oh, jo- from the movie. Jody is the term when when your girl fucks another dude. That another dude. That guy's Jody. Also, if if you're a oh girl, because Snoop went away. It's not the movie though. But it's the principle. Jody got your girl and gone is like Jody existed for a long fucking time. Jody's been around since the Revolutionary War. Oh, so you're saying that term Jody was before the movie Jody? Yes. Or before, uh, what's, what's the name of the movie? The one with Tyrese and yeah, yeah, yeah. Snoop where he gives uh, the chick. What the fuck? Hey, what was the name of that movie with Tyrese uh, and Jody? Snoop. Baby Boy. Baby Boy. Baby Boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Baby Boy. Yeah. Hey, if y'all want, don't forget the Dear John Letters. You know about that? Yeah. Is that that's an army term? This is this is our army buddy. The dear John letters are. Sh- mm. Oh, dear John letters. Like explain that. <laughs> okay, there's there's a there's a bunch of them, but most of it is, uh, you're overseas. I'm leaving you. I found somebody else. I'm taking. <laughs> you're getting this in a fucking letter in a war zone, <laughs> and you're sitting there with a fucking fully loaded M16 M4. Fucking Mark 19, 50 Cal, 240 Bravo, uh, M249. And you're just looking at your weapon that's fully fucking loaded. And you're like, I just, this is it. This is now, now, now. She left me. She's, and I still got fucking three months here. Or you're getting a letter fucking six months into your fucking deployment. And she's saying, hey, I'm three months pregnant. Congratulations, daddy. Bitch, I've been, lo- I've been gone for six months. You fuck somebody else. <laughs> That's why personally you never listen. Anybody who's male listening to in this. the male in the military is the most terrifying thing to fucking open, especially if it's an envelope. Because you could have phone calls, you could like zoom now. When they write something out, it's because they're too scared to fucking tell you to your face, and you're just sitting there opening the letter like, God, what is it? What is it? But sometimes it can still be good. Sometimes. Oh yeah, sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure it can. Man, I, I, the Don, the dear John letters. Yeah. I got one of those in basic training, by the way. I got broke up with in basic training. Oh, no. Yeah, she fell in love with a trucker. Oh, was, was she a lot lizard? She was not. <laughs> <laughs> was, she a, was she a trailer jumper? She was not. She just didn't want to. But then I came back on leaving. I was beating those guts up. She wasn't ready. Oh, so she didn't really leave? No, no, no. I mean, she ended up marrying that guy, but she f- fucked me all the way up until she was married. And not after? Because that don't stop most people. I haven't pursued it. I think she got to the point where she got married, she got comfortable, and she just got not my level anymore. Like weak sauce? Like she was weak sauce? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. like I'm out of your league now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. First of all, first of all. There's no league? I mean, in, in the in the, in the Dao Te Ching, yes. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> but in these worldly thoughts, uh-huh. you will never. You, when motherfuckers say this, it, it, it makes me sick. It makes me sick for them. They say, let me let me go ask my better half. Oh, God. <laughs> Depends on what the wife says. Oh, uh, let, me, let me. Maybe if my wife lets me. Oh, uh, you need permission? Man. Like, what? You got married. You sex. This just your happened whole life. to some guy that, that Steve knows. Mm-hmm. The guy. The guy was going to like baseball. He was like a softball leagues. He was mm-hmm. in a, a few a week. Several. Yeah. Got married two weeks ago. Okay. No more softball leagues. Fuck you. <laughs> now, here's the here's what I know. It a lot of times the guy mm-hmm. will choose to not do that type of shit. Because he feels like he has to to make her happy. A lot of times. Not saying every time, but I feel like that's a I've seen guys do that where the girl's like, No, I tell him to go do this, and he's like, No, I'm gonna stay home, you know. Um, unless they're doing it on the low. Mm-hmm. They're making you feel like shit for wanting to go. Listen, if I have a if I have a hobby or a passion, and anybody get anybody gets in the way of me wanting to do that, they can't be part of my life, ever. Yeah, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck if it, if it was what? Steve. If, if it was Steve, and he was like, "Bro, I you can't do none of the cares, none shit." Steve wouldn't be around, and that's the only thing that would ever make me not love that fool. Mm-hmm. Was he? But he would never. But the thing is, he would never. In a billion, years, all he does is support. Like, he's part, like he's part of the, he's part of it, right? Oh, for, yeah, he's my brother, of course. Yeah, exactly. Is. But she, like you said, she waited till after marriage to be like, nah. It, nah it, no. If she was the one who did it, but that's another thing too, man. Fuck it, I'm gonna ask my better half. That sounds that coming out my mouth like my lips hurt when I say it. It's just, so ridiculous. Lots of times I'll be like. Sounds like a great idea. I just gotta verify with this. I just gotta verify scheduling. That's yeah, all. yeah, my boy. That's my boy right here. Wait, not let me go up. Not all truckers got lots of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all do. Shit. Uh, it depends on what lot. Every lot got one. Wait, some, some the, tr- the trucker life. This, ugh, the little, trucker life is a little dirty. A little grimy. Oh my god. Uh, he said, "Man, I'm. Fu- this is my boy right here. Man, I'm fucking better half. What the fuck? I hate that shit. Yeah, I hate that shit too. It's horrible." I, I I I can't. You, you know half. you know what I'm gonna say. Let me go ask my lesser half. <laughs> 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 no, are you kidding me? So, but but the, the reason I brought that up is, and I and I used to be this way. I had to change my mindset to get to this philosophy. You cannot put your whole being and your value and your own worth into someone else, and especially a woman. Because they will leave your ass. They will leave you quick mm-hmm. if you ain't on your shit. Oh, absolutely. If you're not the guy you were when you got them, which most of us change, that's what happens. That's why That's why women, That's why women. literally, the divorce rate is over 60% and it's 80% filed by women. 80% filed by women are the ones negotiating divorce. Yeah. It's bec- and, I, and I don't blame them. It's because the dudes change. You know. I always blame the dudes for that shit. There's a lot of times where... I, I hate being fucking sexist. It sounds sexist as shit. But there, there are guys out there. Wait, he said he's never seen a lot lizard. I don't believe it. Yeah, does he? Is, he's a he's, trucker. Yeah, he's a trucker. Yeah, he's a trucker. Like l- long distance, long distance though, or are you just yeah, like, local? like UPS nigga, that like count. local. Yeah, yeah. talk yeah. about that's for the, the local grocery store. Yeah, he's I, like, no, nah, nigga, uh, Amazon. Does that count? That's local. <laughs> yeah, you're not driving all the way. Uh, a woman cho- chooses who they date and fuck men choose who they Yeah, for sure. I mean, I got to give guys more credit on this one because guys will take a girl out of the gutter, build them up, give them reassurances, help them achieve their fucking dreams from the fucking gutter to the fucking top, and they'll ride or die with them the whole fucking way. You ever see a fucking woman grab a guy that's in the gutter and build him up? The only way that they the only there's so there's a there's a, there's a term for that. It's called hypergamy, female hypergamy, and that and it's not just females. Men have it too, but for the sake of this conversation, female hypergamy is the women tend to date up. For whatever that means to them, they need someone who they tend to look up to. That's the way it's always been since day one. You know, it's starting to change now, but but it's not. That's the way it's always been. So that's why women always like guys with drive. 
So you could be, so here's, I, because women are independent now. They don't need your money like that no more, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe back in the 50s, they needed your money. So they actually needed to, but now, so now they want you for something else because they can do it all themselves. And drive, I have come to find out, I think having determination, drive, ambition is the number one attractor for women to men. And I feel like as long as it, so they'll date you if, <clears throat> like if you're broke, but they see that you out here getting you're it. You're trying. They'll they'll if do you're that. Motivated. They'll do that. But you have to be crazy. You know, I this is another statistic. Uh, the the most unhappy demographic in America is women over the age of forty who make six figures and up. Because they're lonely. Be yes, because their dating pool is so much smaller. Because they need to date. The, to them, they're a killer. Right. I'm a killer. I'm not going to date a bum. And how many? And let's be honest. Most of the bums, and I mean that just when I mean when I'm saying bums in this situation, I mean people who just ain't really going after something. And a woman knew what it took her to get to that level. She probably bust ass to get to that level. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So there's going to be very few killers that ain't got it. That ain't already there. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I, I and I get it. It's like man. So that's what kind of sucks for being like like a boss chick. Because to be like a, because you have to be almost in your masculine to even get to that position in the business world, right? You have mm -hmm. to be able to do the things that you can't be soft. Like as a matter of fact, I was talking to somebody yesterday. Do you find those women intimidating? Me personally, no. I I prefer me those. Yeah. But most men do absolutely mm -hmm. because they don't know how to fucking be in their masculine, right? So to me, when a woman is in her masculine, it's because you are in your feminine. And I don't mean that they toxic. Can't, they can't share. They don't want to share the alpha. You know what I mean? They don't want to be lion and lion. They they, they want to be the the dom in that the, that whole thing. But they they, they can't like the share. ladies, the, the the guys. That's why they're. That's I think that's why a lot of them are intimidated. They can't be the lesser. No, no the I I just well I don't know if I disagree with it, but my whole thought on it is a woman most general very generally speaking. They want you to take control, and they want you to lead, but they got to trust that you can fucking lead and take control. Here's, here's how I always say it. If, like, a woman, and I got this from my buddy Dante. I was on his podcast. They'll give you the keys to the ship. Here. Even even the boss. Even the bosses that, that go to work, yep. and they run fucking 150,000 people, and they manage this, and they fire motherfuckers, and they killing it. Most of them say they, they want to come home, and they don't want to do that when they get home. They say that I just want to come home and I want like a guy to fucking take the lead. That's why, and I've noticed this, when you ask girls like, oh, you know, let's go do something. Every time they say, well, what are we going to do? They give it, they're telling you, and then what, what do most guys do? Well, what do you want to do? And then they're like, okay, this guy ain't that guy. No, but I mean, there's those times to be like, hey, you want to go get something to eat? And she'll be like, yes, where do you want to go? I don't know, where do you want to? Every now and then I'll make that decision straight up, be like, okay, we'll go here. Can you sometimes just fucking be like, yes, so, I want to go here? So so I, I, I have a theory on this. Yeah, I, I've actually figured that one out 100%. Okay. So everyone knows the thing, you know, girls don't know what to eat, right? Uh-huh. It's like it's a whole running thing. Girls never know what to eat. But to me, now they do, they, they're more emotional beings, typically, very generally speaking. So they probably do emotionally think about what they eat more than we do. Because we can literally eat the same fucking thing every day for fucking two weeks. Especially you motherfuckers in the army, you probably, you probably used, you used to eat shit. We eat shoes, yeah. That's what I'm saying, right, right. But a girl could be like, oh, you know, and I, I, I can see her saying that, but I think there's something else going on. So here's what here's a tip. Here's what normally happens to most relationships. Hey, I'm coming home. What do you want to eat? Oh, I don't know. You pick. And then he'll be like, all right, uh, Taco Bell. And she'll be like, no, nah, nah, I don't want Taco, I don't want Taco <laughs> Bell. And then he'll be like, oh, what, what, well, what about McDonald's? She'll be like, eh. No, I have me not, you know, and then they right. go back and forth, and then they, the guys over like, "Well, just pick something." She goes, "I don't know." Here's how I handle those situations. Okay. A. Now, the real dope me, for the sake of this, for outside the sake of this conversation, I would just bring something home. I would just already be aware. Uh, I know what she likes. I would already just made that decision. So I know women t love decision makers, right? So I'm just not even going to ask you. I'm just going to I'm just going to make it. You're happen. not even asking. You're just going to pick something up on the way back. Yeah, but I would I would also be have the wherewithal to know what she likes and shit. What if she made dinner and you didn't even know that though? Then I, that's a risk that I'm willing to take. Okay, okay, point. okay. But, right. but you know, but my that's my point. Yeah. Like if I know, like how about this? Her damn arms broke, so she couldn't make. Fair enough. <laughs> she can't cut. Right. So I would say. Uh, 
hey, I'm about to get something to eat. What you want? She goes, I don't know. You pick. And then I say, all right, I'm going to get McDonald's or I'm going to get Taco Bell. And then she goes, no, nah, I don't want to get Taco Bell. And then I say, well, I'm getting Taco Bell because that's what I now <laughs> want. If you, I will get you something or we can go get you your own thing, but I'm getting Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. You couldn't make the decision. You right. know what I'm saying? And here's what I've noticed. When, when you have that kind of energy, because the old me would have been like, I would never do that. Why would, don't piss them off. Don't piss them off. Right, right. But they almost like the fact that you just took control of the situation. Re regardless of if whether or not they're happy with the situation or not. I, I'll, I'll prove this point. And I've said this on the podcast before. An ex of mine. Shout out Bridget. Mm. <laughs> I ain't mentioned her in like about at least it's been 15 a while. episodes. But I learned this very I learned this lesson from her without even knowing that I had learned it. She was talking about her ex guy and and what she enjoyed about me at the time. I, she said uh her guy had this haircut and it was fucking hideous. And then she said, like, I don't really like your haircut, your haircut's trash. And then he was like, well, what do you want? I'll switch it. She was like, no, no. She goes, no, whatever you want. I'll, I'll make it do whatever you want. Da, 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 da. And she was like, and she told me she told me how disgusted she was with that response. Yeah. Like, Years, I didn't cut my own fucking hair. People fucked up. I'll fix it later. <laughs> right. So it is what it is. You got to suck it up and drive out. I'll wear a hat. Okay, shut the fuck up. Years later, <laughs> even, even the hat part, I wouldn't do. But years, <laughs> years later, now I'm in the picture. Right. And I, I was growing like this little, little fucking bozo looking thing. I don't know why. But it was just this part, uh -huh. just, just this this uh, big. That's it. And she goes, uh, "I don't really like. I don't. I don't like whatever you got going on there." And I was like, "She, you better like it." <laughs> <laughs> that's how and, it is, right? Right. And she literally said, "I don't like it." And clearly, my attitude was like, "Fuck you, I'm doing it anyway." She told me later that she actually respected me for that. Good. So my point is, is that that little story right there. You can transform that to all kinds of situations. Just, ha just have some fucking backbone. There's compromising and there's conforming. There's two fucking... Like, you can find a middle. You can compromise. You can talk. You can do fucking... You could hate this. You could have a difference of opinion. And then there's, what do you want me to do? I'll do whatever you need me to do. Oh, you don't like this? Even though I like this, I will change to make it better for you because this is what you prefer. Fuck that. Fuck that. No, and don't they don't even shit. respect that. They don't respect no, that no. at all. You're a fucking cuckold. <laughs> yeah, like a cuck. Cuck. Where's the Wait, you you ever done it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know anything about the like the cuck world? Like the it, so is is that if I'm not mistaken? I was a Chad once. What the fuck is a Chad? Chad is the guy that takes care of the fucking wife because the cuck can't do it. Was he in the room? He was in the house, and he knew what was going down. Oh yeah, he <laughs> wa he wanted it to happen. Wow, you were part of that. They know they can't. Yeah, I, once they they know they can't do what she needs, so she finds it somewhere else, and then it happens. And then you know she's. Were you friends with the guy? No. Nope. Her though, I was friends with her. That's I think I was recruited by her to go through the for permission. She she, I guess he gave her permission to find something. She found me, and it was a fucking one-time thing. And you guys were friends? Was. Did that, did it was, <laughs> I imagine that puts a weird it was just, twist on the friendship. It was, just, it was just weird afterwards for... Can, can, can guys and girls be platonic friends? Is it possible 100%? 100%? 100%. Can, I, I have an answer. They could coexist, but someone wants to fuck somebody else. They're like, one of you wants to fuck each other. Unless, oh, okay, yeah. I think the only way that it's even remotely close to being possible is if both are into the other sex, right? Uh, okay. Like a, like a gay guy and a gay girl. Okay. I think that that could work. That's possible. But if, let's say I was gay, right? And we're friends. What does that mean? Does that mean Wait, me and you personally? Yeah, me. Like, let's say, let's say, let's say I'm gay or you're gay and we're friends. But I'm like one of us is straight. Does that mean that the gay guy's automatically into you? No, I don't believe that. So same same sex, uh, like gay, gay could they? You could be straight and gay and be friends. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but when, oh, it doesn't have to be both be gay. Oh, well, okay, good point, good point, good point. I think, I think, I think a gay guy and a straight guy they could coexist and be friends. I think it has to be a gay guy and uh-huh. a girl who's friend zoned or friend that guy. That's the only way it could work. But you don't think a gay guy and a straight guy could be friends? No, I, I of course. Oh I yeah, do. okay, okay. I'm saying just without one of them wanting to. Like the gay guy wanted something or whatever. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Okay. I got gay friends. All right. I'm saying I don't believe. But do you think they want to fuck you? No. Do they offer you like juice or like pineapple juice or something? I mean, I've been hit on before, but not by like these, my not friends. Not by your friends? No. Ever once? No. Okay. No. Right. But I've been hit on like at the bar and shit. And, you know, I'll wear like a. I fucking, love that shit though. I'll wear a pink and a mint I all day. <laughs> I, I, I love it. I, I love that shit. Hey, y'all. Does, do y'all wear mint? Mint. Yeah, like mint like, or, or like salmon. The light green or the, the lox colored. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like mint. I don't mind. Listen, listen. I'll wear a pink shirt all day. I I love women so goddamn much that like it doesn't need, like none of that bothers me. I don't know. Some niggas is really bothered by that. But you're saying straight guy, straight girl, they can't be friends without one of them. A hundred, a hundred percent. At least, at least testing their limits. Man, because I just know how guys think, man. Yeah, and I know if I see a pair of tits, even if I don't ever act on nothing, yeah, I want to see those tits. Well, don't you? You rub one out before you leave, before you go out for the night. No, well, some of us can rub out a few. You know, like I don't know. Okay, I could get back into the mode real quick after a rub off. But it, it just, it just, you don't want to go in there just, you know, hard charging. You want to, you know. I haven't masturbated in forever. Really? Uh, I told you, I no fap, baby. I get that shit up. Oh, so you you have a sex game then somewhere? A sex game? You have someone to call that you know? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sexually active. <laughs> Nick, are you kidding me? Look, I'm so charming and sexy. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> do you have a list? Do you have a schedule, or is it just one consistent? Oh man, listen, listen. At the end of the day, mm. I am loved. Okay, so we're we're just gonna. Dodge. <laughs> We're just gonna dodge that question completely. I am loved. <laughs> I am very. I am desired. Uh huh. And I am admired. And I'm not even saying that on some like by uh, one or multiple people. Like men, like men admire me all the time. Oh yeah, sure. I admire you. Sure. <laughs> it doesn't mean I want to fuck you. <laughs> I mean, I, hey, I wouldn't judge you if you did. <laughs> I wouldn't judge you if you did. No. Yeah, I don't think I could take the finisher, man. I yeah, but know. I don't think that men and women can be. I don't know. I just know how. I think a girl could do it more than a guy could. Right. I think a girl could be like, yeah, no. They actually always want they always want their social circle big. That's why they always try to friend zone my fight. Mm-hmm. Like we don't want more friends. We don't. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be a friend. There's so much there's only so much room in the VIP. That's what I'm saying. Like I got my, my boys, but <laughs> but it's like the girls just want their social circle big. Mm-hmm. So they're always trying to make more friends. And I feel like guys don't typically just try to keep making more friends like they that. want a pool of people because chances are a lot of them are gonna fuck up, so you wanna be able to dip back in there. Wait. Guys are more close knit. We have a we have oh a, we yeah, have, we have a, we have a way, like group. the bro code's way stronger than the girl code. I it's not even close. Oh yeah, bro, bro code is is there is strong. no girl there is no girl code. <laughs> yeah, that's like an oxymoron. Do you know how many fucking girls that are friends fuck ex boyfriends? Now, how many guys fuck ex ex girlfriends I mean, of the, your boy your boy? I mean, I'm sure it's happened, which means that they weren't really your boy then. Like, I wouldn't fuck Bridget if I knew who the fuck she was. Man. Trust me, you wouldn't want to, but because <laughs> okay. that was that's what it, our problem was. Okay, but please, please do. But I also think differently. I, I'm not. I'm super like man. Go do you. I don't know. I'm I'm more, I'm one. I'm one with the with the Dao Te Ching. Dao Te Ching. Dao Te Ching. Yeah. You know, I'm, I, you know what I'm saying. I'm really starting to believe that this book is crazy, man. It's it's making me believe that we're all part of this one thing, like we're all one unit. Yes, we're just cells in a body. Yes. It, it, Passing it, each other by like the Matrix. Yeah, and that, and in the Matrix, I've been watching that again. Okay, and, because it, it really feels like that. The older I get, the more I feel like I'm unlearning shit. You saw the Matrix, right? All of them. Yes. You remember the, it's supposed to be a new one coming out soon. Mm-hmm. Remember the scene it's where coming out the same day as John Wick Four, by the way, which is gonna be again, uh, well, that was supposed to happen in 2020 and it stopped. Yeah, right? the shit fucking okay. COVID. So remember the scene where Neo first got he just got uh, talked to uh, Lawrence Fishburne or Morpheus. Mm. And Take the, the red pill. Yeah, so yeah. it's right, right after there, and he's downloading. He's literally sitting in a chair, and he's downloading files. I know kung fu. Right. Yeah. And then the guy, so the, the, he was just sitting there downloading, downloading, and then he comes in. He goes, "Man, what's up?" He goes, "Man, he's still doing it. He's he's a monster. He's taking in all this." Yeah. 
I promise you that's how I feel about life right now. I feel like I just keep taking on more. That's what, dude, I, I sold my Xbox. To oh, me, to you, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a lazy piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I just I just like downloading information to the brain. I, I st- I'm starting to see that the brain is like a fucking computer. Oh, it's way more advanced than the computer. That's what I'm saying. It's mm-hmm. way more advanced, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, and, w- and if you believe that, which I do, and I think there's some scientific proof behind it, like literally, even the fact that like when you're when you're driving a car and you're like holding a, a, a cup, and then like you can your body makes the the correct calculations to, to for it not to spill for, for the shock. Yeah, think about that. That's all. That's what those fucking things do. Those uh, auto- gimbals. Yep, automatically. And adjust. we have a gimbal just naturally built inside of us. So it's like, and the reason why we're fat, right? The reason why we're fat or lose weight or whatever is because our bodies work so well. So when you give your body too much fuel, your body's like, oh shit, wait a minute, we don't need this fuel. We're we're not burning this much, so we're going to store it because we might need it one day. Right. So it, the only reason why we're fat. So anybody listening, the reason why you get fat, nigga, is because. Is is because uh, is your uh, body not is er. it's because your body <laughs> okay. no because your body is so cold. It's dope. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So and it's gonna figure the fact that we you, you can just cut and it'll heal itself. Think about that. Think about that. Mm-hmm. So it's just like so I feel like Neo and like the, the and like I'm reading these books now and now I'm like getting addicted to it. Reading? Like Yes, yeah, actually physically reading them now too. And it's all like self, not self-help, but like motivational learning. Self-developmental for yeah, sure, 100%. Go. And I'm just learning so fucking much about my mindset. And the more I, in my opinion, the more I learn about my mindset, the more I learn how to try to, because I believe this. Whole, think about it. Only thing that you see is through what your brain interprets through the senses, right? Mm-hmm. So, and that's why like glitches or optical illusions, which something's weird about that. So the fact that, I could be doing this, but I'm really putting up some crazy shit that you can't see. It's like, wait a minute. So, but our brains are seeing something, but that's not really the the truth. Yeah, deja vu or dreams or all that precognizance, shit. And all that shit, like superpower shit, almost. So it's so t- the reason I'm bringing that up is, I believe that if you can me- if you can get better at just trying to understand the, your mind, trying to control a little, you never understand it, comp- control it completely. And mm-hmm. whatever. But if you can just get, and there's techniques, me- meditating and the no, fa- there's all kinds of different things you can do to get in a better head space. Cold showers. Cold showers is, people think I'm crazy and I'm telling you, that is a game changer. I'm telling you, I, I promise you, that's one of the top five things you could do for yourself. Spe- especially as a man, I think. Because it gets you disciplined. Mm-hmm. It gets you fucking disciplined because you, you. you're right. You know what I'm saying? And, and that shit is cold every morning and you choose to do it. So you want to go talk to that girl. How uncomfortable is her, her rejection over that cold shower? And that's why I did it. Cause it got me really used to just, even with the videos, every time I post a video, like, Oh, people going to like it. Da, 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 da. I still get that feeling, but I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm getting used to being uncomfortable, being comfortable. I'm, I'm getting used to be, to, I'm being comfortable being uncomfortable. People appreciate that more. You putting yourself out there be like the balls on that guy. Be like, I would never do something. Like, I wish I had the courage to do it. You can. Just, if you believe it, you could achieve it. Just fucking do it. You know what's crazy? It's literally that simple. I, 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 I really, it, it sounds like some hogwash, some spiritual bullshit. But everybody who's ever been successful in the history of anything ever is the number one thing they all say 1,000% is you have to believe. Right. You have to believe in that story for it to even work, which makes me think this is some fucking weird simulation. Because if you could just, if you can change your subconscious to believe something, you will get it. Break the code. Just go outside of, just go outside of the norm. If it makes you uncomfortable, you're going to, it's better for you. I'm not talking about a, I'm not talking about a fear response or a scared response or right and wrong. I'm talking about bettering yourself. You don't want to take the risk because you don't want to fail. Fucking fail. You're not gonna. That's the only way you fucking learn. For, exactly. well, it's, how about this? Not the only way, but it's the way you gonna learn the the most the fast, the, the fastest, yeah. right? You know, because you can. Don't get me wrong. You can read a book and go on YouTube and the top five things not to do, and just don't. So you just learn that, but, right? But you know, when you really learn is when you do those and you didn't study that, and then oh shit, don't do these. T-. Now you know that from experience. Right. Experience might be the best fucking teacher, which is bullshit. The bullshit is part is experience. So that's why going back to that original point. Look at me circling back. About people who get depressed and shit and, and uh, these issues and da 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 da. Listen, I'm not gonna undermine that, but it's like there's a lot of 
gems all around us if you look for them. If that's what you're intaking in your brain. If that's what you're choosing to focus on. That's your first step. The heart, the, the first step is always the hardest. The second hardest thing that you could do is stay committed. Yeah, if you're not going if, if you're if you're not going you have to stay committed, you have to follow through, you got to keep pushing. You're not going to see results right away no matter what the fuck you're trying no to do. No matter what it is. I don't I don't care if it's physical, mental, psychological, family, friends, turmoil, life, you need to stay committed if you're going if you're going to see change. You're not going to see change. It doesn't mean fucking quit. It means stay committed and keep going and keep going and keep pushing. The consistency. Okay, yep. Stay, stay, stay the on. Fucking consistency. Stay fucking on it. And as a person who's lost the weight, so as y'all know, I lost a bunch of weight. What? Uh, and it doesn't happen Tuesday. It happens all of a sudden four months. Now, don't get me wrong. If if you own your shit for like three weeks, if you know you did everything the way I would tell you to do it, right? You're gonna feel better. Your your belt's gonna be a little looser, but you won't see that significant change that you're looking for right you're gonna see the significant change in a fucking year and then niggas gonna be like you look like a new person and then you're gonna be like yeah suck my dick now <laughs> no you know that, that was, i don't know if you know my story but somebody told me that i'll never forget this i'll never forget this y'all. it was a girl no it was a guy who had lost a bunch of weight and i and i sat down with him which uh, is when i first what oh no okay I, I, then you gu- said suck my dick now and i was talking no, oh, well okay. i mean that you know oh gotcha but you, you but I, i'm just saying <laughs> i have more confidence to say that now that i lost that weight but uh, here's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I sat down with this guy because he lost like 100 pounds. And I was like, hey, bro, you know what, man? Can you, can you talk to me, man? Because I'm trying to find a way. Da, 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 right? He sat me down and he goes, Chris, let me tell you something. And I'm all ears because he's done it. I, saw, I just watched him lose weight. How, like, how do you do it? And he was talking about the mental aspect, which is true. He's got to get mentally there. He goes, you know what's good? I'm like, uh, he goes, a, a Whopper, a double Whopper, triple Whopper with cheese, you know, fries, and I'm like, yeah, this is back when I was 400. I'm like, hell yeah, give me a Whopper. I love Whoppers. To this day, I fucking I haven't had one in a while, but th- that's a delicious sandwich to me. Better than a Big Mac, to yeah. you? Yes. Okay. Yes, to me. I'm a Big Mac. Although I've had more Big Macs, to me, Whopper just makes me literally call a Whopper. Yeah, <laughs> it just makes me feel even better. The, man, the mentality, the mentality of a Whopper. No, you know, I'm like, I had the Impossible Whopper. Oh, the veggie one. The, the veggie one. It, it, well, the plant based. Right, okay. Which is it's a little different, right? Sure. <laughs> anyway, so I sat down. I'm like, and I was like, hell yeah, you know, like Fat Albert shit. <laughs> and he goes, and he goes, uh, you know what's really good? I'm like, oh, what are you about to say? Like a steak? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. He goes, when a girl's sucking your dick, I'll never forget that. And I was like, and no one's ever said that to me like that in that direct. And he goes, he goes, this is what I had to get. Burgers over bitches. I'll never forget that. Or bitches over burgers. There you go. Yeah. B- bitches over burgers over bitches. <laughs> that should be a t-shirt. <laughs> that should be a t-shirt. Yeah. Burgers <laughs> over bitches. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. But uh, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget how he made me feel when he said those words. Because I was like, damn, that's right. So that gave me my motivation to lose the weight in the beginning. Mm. Now, here's the problem. Okay. That was my motivating factor to do it in the beginning, right? That gave me enough power. I desired women. I was fucking super popular guy. All my friends are fucking how come I'm not fucking them. I want right? a blowjob. Right? Well, just being sexual with women in general. Like right, I, right. I, did, I didn't have that as much as I should have for being LC. How many times did you hear, like, oh, you're, like, where they gave you the impression that if you didn't look that way, you would be dating material? Did you get that impression a lot or no? Probably no. Okay. No, no. No one's got the balls to do that. One's a big black dude in, in white suburbia. Mm. But then number two, as much as that obviously has some attractions and motherfucker. Right. But I mean, but I also was a beta as fuck. I was also not confident. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So listen, I've seen big, big It wasn't it wasn't this persona in a bigger body. No, it hell was, no. Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Hell no. Right. I do believe persona. That's the cool thing. Of, that's the good thing for, for men is mm-hmm. that women aren't as shallow as men are because there's more factors that they, they calculate is how, if they're attracted to you. So minus the bitches over burgers thing, if if you had this persona, old body, you'd be getting ass. Yes. Okay. Not as much. Right. Because attraction is still a thing. Yes. But I would have way more than I did because even when I did, I had a little something. Yeah. 
Confidence is a big thing. It's the biggest. But here's the problem, too, with, like, how do you tell a motherfucker to get confidence? It's easy because everyone says, just have confidence. Well, where do you get confidence? And you know what confidence, in my opinion, comes from? Putting the work in and, and, and getting your mind right and understanding how valuable you are. That's what the whole be dope shit's about. Right. If I'm being honest, let's, 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 let's talk about it. I'm on live and shit. The be dope thing is a reminder to make sure that I always remember that I'm dope. You know, and for, and for everyone else to do it too. Right. And because I actually give a fuck a lot. Yes. You know, which is kind of like, which makes the whole thing kind of interesting. Yeah. It, it's a, it's almost like an oxymoron of itself, but it totally makes sense. But it totally makes sense. Yeah. It's like, I do care about myself. Right. Or, or no, no, it's, it's, it's more of this. If you, if you want to detail it exactly, it's more about, I care none to the things that are keeping me from being my happiest. Like someone's opinion. Like, you know what? Want me to read your definition on your shirt right now? Well, yeah, but this is for like the people. But I'm talking about like, and literally, that's what, yeah, read it. I'll let you read it. All right. Care is none. Indicates that I have no interest or emotional investment in your opinion, lifestyle, mindset. See also, be dope. So, so, so that's what I was saying. Like Solid. I, so, but I give, but, it, but I should, you know what I should add to it, if I'm being honest, mm. is when it pertains to something that you want to do because this could be misconstrued as like a fuck you know i just fuck everything it's a motivator when i think about it i think about it as a motivator definitely is but yeah but not everyone will like you'll be a cynic they'll be like oh you're just an asshole right right but uh i don't know but it, but but it's a reminder so you, you have to constantly remind yourself keep doing things keep putting that work in and then start hitting your little goals and then all of a sudden you're like wait a minute i am dope Mm-hmm. And, and listen, not better. I'm not arrogant. I'm not better. I'm just. I'm, I'm, I just think that I'm dope. But I think you should be dope too. I think we all should be dope. And I think that's why people don't get mad at me for saying that I I'm dope because I also truly believe that that you're dope too. Even if, even 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 Mitch, even Mitch is is fucking ridiculous. He is. He he's definitely dope at taking photos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's it. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> so my point is is to to, to to tell a guy to get confidence, man. You got to put that work in. And to be honest. Stop chasing women. That's a big one. You know, uh, uh, what do you say in the futures? Chase a check. Never chase a bitch. There you go. Or, you know, but and, it, and it's, it's weird. When you follow your purpose, when you're, when you're driven to something of, 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 of substance, people are attracted to that, man. Just not even just not even just women like men too. This, when people are doing because can, can, listen, let's be honest. Not everyone's out here going after what they want to be, and that's kind of what this is supposed to be is to help people get to that. Because I know how good I feel. Yeah, following what I want to do. How I, many people? How many people are, uh, are using their trade or using their education or using their what they did in college as their actual profession right now? Very few. It ended by the way. Yeah, very few. Very fucking few, man. Um. And I feel like follow your own dream. If those girls are circle back, don't chase them. And and, and and if they did it, bro, if they did it, bro, they would be so much happy. But you got to get over that. You got to get through that wall. And, I, and that's this. That's the scary part. That's why Nike just do it. Is here's the cool thing about. And I don't think I've told you this. The cool thing about cares none because I think Nike is one of the best models of all time. To just do it. Just do it. That's a that's a awesome. That, Solid. There's a reason why this shit is as big as it is because just do it. Yeah. But here's why I think cares nothing. Why I know cares nothing's gonna be bigger. Here's why. Because you can tell somebody just to do it, but some people aren't just doing it. Why? They feel they can't. And that's what cares none. I think cares none could come in right before just do it. So just do it. I can't. Cares none. Just do it. Be dope. Be dope. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, be dope is just do it. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Good shit. I just thought about that. Yeah, one hundred percent. But you know what I'm saying. But the cares none is is right before. It's like the precursor for it. Just do it is like just do it. But like you're like, oh, what is what is going to get me to just do it? What is going to be my motivator to just do it? Cares none. Right. Going to be your motivator yeah. to just do it. Absolutely. And and, and most times it's going to be someone's opinion. You're scared of someone else's opinion most times, whether it's family, friends, or social media, or the, and then you got the, the couple people on the trolls. You're going to get those. You're worried about that. And here's the funny thing. And it's true, even like when you're gambling and shit like that, you always remember the bad beats, but you don't really remember the the, the killer, the win, the wins as much as the bad beats, right? Right. So the negative, the negative shit stands out. That's why they push it. Motherfuckers just kind of draw to the bullshit, right? You learn from that, right? Maybe that's maybe that's why, because you learn from it. But uh, but there's a lot of people drawn. Excuse me, there's a lot of people drawn to the shit 
that they're not really learning from. They're just stewing in negativity. Right. Like just to me watching the news and that's all you're doing. Just and like, I, I can't see how you can live a productive, fulfilling life following your purpose. If, if you take in the news 24/7. all the time. Yeah. Cause I'm it, not saying stay, you know, it's not good news ever. No one's fucking, what is it? 10, 10% to 90. If, if it's, it's I every, mean, the world is fucking burning. If you pay attention to what's going on right now. That's what I'm saying. And, 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 but I don't, I don't really know if that is that. I don't really think that that's what's really going on. I feel like that's what social media is like amplified almost. Like the bullshit, all the good shit. It's all, it's all wrong in the middle. A lot of the stuff that we see that is put out there is ninety percent one sided and ten percent that's wrong. Don't believe what those ten percent people are saying. Believe the ninety percent. Believe this narrative. Believe what this is pushing. The, the news that is saying that, you know, government's good and, you know, this administration is doing the right thing and everything's going to be fine is just trying to buy themselves more time to watch yeah. the fucking world it's, burn. It's ridiculous. It's sad. It's sad. Hey, uh, take a guess where we're at. Uh, one hour and 39 minutes. 140. Fuck! A you minute! Close. That's close. Goddamn! 140, 36. Oh, God. That's not Steve numbers yet. Nah, we could, well, there's right. It was right about there. Was it? Was within it? Sec, you were within seconds. Nice. You were within a minute. Yes. Good shit. Well, or at least I, b- probably about a minute, if I'm being like, okay. exact minute. Perfect. Still good number. That's really good. Thanks. Um, shout out your shit, man. Uh, the Gray Area Podcast. I am Sarge. You can find me at thegrayarea.com. You can find me wherever podcasts stream. Tell your squad to follow my pod. All you got to do is search the gray area, D-A-G-R-A-Y-A-R-E-A, and you will find me. If you want to get some Cares None Be Dope merch, you could use the gray area code. You could. D-A-G-R-A-Y-A-R-E-A-1-5, and you get 15% off your Cares None Be Dope gear. Uh, you can find me at all things at Chris Cares None. Um, but to make it real easy, just go to caresnone.com and there's links to everything that I do. Got the wing review on there. Yes. Got the fucking, got the podcast on here. You got the audio, the video. Check out the Facebook pages you for get both. Get the Facebook pages for both. Although I got to get a link for the Facebook page for the clothing. On the caresnone.com. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have that. Do you I sell don't. out of the Facebook page too? Do I sell a lot out of it? Is do you sell out of the Facebook page? No, I should. I should set that up to help out, make it easier. There you go. A lot of things I got to do. But, uh, yeah, you can find me at caresnone.com. And uh, and th- first of all, the movement has been fucking vicious. It's great. I know you see it. Like, it's, I see it's, it's it. Fucking I, I pay crazy. attention. I pay attention. Um, so thank thank you guys all for supporting the movement. And it's it, listen, when it when it started, it was more of a, I'm about to sell some some clothing. Merch. Merch situation. And now it's 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 evolving to not even selling like a cl- Yes, it's a clothing brand. But I'm really trying to sell the lifestyle mindset in the mindset. Yeah. We just so happen to sell clothes to help you. Re- and I really believe that that I'm about to I'm about to I'm, I got these uh, wristbands. Uh, Cares my nation. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put one in each in each order for free. Perfect. You know, like how like, like what would Jesus do or live strong? <laughs> like, but, but think about right. it. Like then it's literally a daily reminder. Cares none. Yep, absolutely. So I mean, and and I'm gonna get or, or like sell like people who just want to support but don't really get extra money. Five bucks, you get three of them. You know, I'll make a few. Is, bucks. It, is it the metal clip ons or is it a slap? No, one or the, the rubber, uh, the rubber, the rubber ones. ones. Yeah, nice. the easy ones. Purple. You know I, I, this, dude, and you know, you, for anybody doing that, those you can get those for a steal. Really? For like two hundred bucks, it was like fifteen hundred of them. Shut the. Fuck. Yeah, they come. It's like eighteen cents. You can design whatever. It's like eighteen cents a piece. Yeah, I'm telling you, look into it. Okay, yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah. Uh, and as always, bye. Care's done. Hard R. Care's <laughs> <laughs>